Hi everyone, let's begin cost analysis. We will study here lots of types of cost, short run cost, long run cost, explicit cost, implicit cost, sunk cost, various kinds of cost we are going to study over here. But first, before starting this, what do you understand by term cost analysis? Cost of production of a commodity refers to the money expenses incurred on various factor services employed by a firm on the production of that particular commodity. So here is uh, two kinds of cost is included. One is explicit cost, another one is implicit cost. So term cost has different meanings in different contexts. So depending upon the business decisions to be made. Then we come to the, here is explicit cost means what? Explicit cost means money payments made by the firm to the owners of various factor services in purchasing and hiring the factor services required in the production of a commodity are known as explicit cost. Like when the company is paying in terms of wages, in, ter in terms of wages and uh, payments for raw materials, rent, etc. So there are certain factor services which are owned and provided by the entrepreneur himself for which no money payment are made, so are not included in cost of production. So sometimes we are calling it that this is the actual payment that would be reflecting on balance sheet. That is reflecting on accounting sheet. That is actual payments that we are doing. But when we talk about implicit cost, implicit cost means that refers to the imputed or estimated values of inputs owned by the firm, used by it in its own production units. Like, for example, entrepreneur may contribute his own land, his own capital, and may provide entrepreneurial managerial services. Thus, in case of such factors of production that firm neither purchase nor hires, the cost must also be calculated. Such costs need to be imputed from what they could earn in their best alternative use, such cost is known as implicit cost. So imputed, like for example, imputed cost of cell phone land, that is imputed rent. Imputed cost of cell phone labor, that is imputed wages. Imputed cost of cell phone capital, that is imputed interest. So I'm just sharing one example of this implicit cost and explicit cost. Suppose, I have a property in the heart of the city and I just want to start a jewelry shop and I have that much of amount that I can invest to start a shop. So for example, that is the property that is heart of the city. Let's say we are saying if I will not start this particular shop to my own property, ultimately what would happen? That would I can rent out. If, some, if somebody will take it that particular property as rent on the on the on the as a rented property he will pay let's say imputed rent that would be 50,000 rupees per month so I could be able to earn 50,000 rupees per month right and there is let's say um, I had invested one crore ca capital in this particular starting startup or I could say, if I am starting this particular jewelry shop, so I had invested one crore uh, money. But if I am not not using this money, so that would that can be possible. I can lending this money in the market, and I can earn around let's say a uh, twelve percent rate of interest or fifteen percent rate of interest. So I could earn a some handsome amount through this money as well as I can talk about suppose I am working I'm looking after that particular shop but if, during that time I'm not working that means I'm sacrificing that is the alternative uh, opportunity cost I'm sacrificing somewhere else if I could serve so I'm getting I can I can get uh, let's say 60,000 rupees per month so these all these costs that would be imputed we can say salary so imputed wages or i could say so here is we can we we can that would be the cost would not reflect because actually we are not paying these kind of services so that is not reflecting on the balance sheet but actually this cost is imputed that that is why we are calling it imputed 
cost or we can call it implicit cost. So I hope that is clear to you. What is the difference between explicit cost and implicit cost? I hope this video would be helpful to you. And in the next video, we would learn some more cost analysis concepts. So keep watching. Stay tuned.